This apple dip recipe is one of our very favorites. Now I'm making a double batch, but I'm gonna give you the ingredients for a single batch. You are going to put in one package of cream cheese, a half cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna make sure it's plugged in and then combine everything. This recipe was inspired by a dip we used to love at the restaurant PDQ. Now the sugars are reduced from the original recipe because we found it too sweet. Now we're flavoring this with two different kinds of candies. So we're dividing it up into two containers and then we are going to use mini M&Ms in one batch maybe a little more than what we needed, <laughs> and toffee bits in another. This time of year can be hard to find the toffee bits, so we just bought Heath bars and crushed them up. Give it a really good stir and make sure it's well distributed. As you can tell, it's really fluffy and spreads really well on your apples. If you want to try with other fruit, go for it. The base is a really good recipe that you can do. You can leave it without any candy in it if you want it for something more like um, pineapple or strawberries. Now set that aside and we're going to core our apples. This recipe uses pineapple juice over your apples to keep them from turning brown. I was really skeptical because we have tried other things like Sprite and it always changed the texture and just didn't taste great to me. I really like it with the pineapple juice though. We can have them for several days before the texture starts to get a little bit mushy, but even a week later, my kids will eat them the apple slices. Now don't forget to save your apple cores for apple cider. I'll see you in the next video.